Not to go out bear hunting, you never no good at your food. I'm a great hunter. It's you, my friend. And this guy is your mysterious savior. Uh, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want, and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes, indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Well, he did save my life after all. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. It really got me. Uh, are you taking credit for the quality of the trap? I'm just saying that it, if it were a bear that got trapped in it, it would have been trapped real good. Yeah, but you trapped your own damn self instead, didn't you? You know, I sure hope it don't happen to you someday. I will. I will. Damn! Where is that train? Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right. Take a look around.
So noted. You have a good day now. I hear there was a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? You'll be amazed at the difference it makes. It's right next door. Stop there! Get back to the front of the shop! Piece of work, that one there. I know. Yeah, well, you know. You best not be back to cause more trouble around here. Would you like help in here? Ah, oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Good. Now relax. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. Whenever you're done, just say the word. So, how's it going with you? I'm good, thank you. You must get some bad men in here. That don't surprise me at all. Ah, I do not like getting older. Absolutely. Is that nice? All right, I think that should do it. Nice meeting you.
That's my boy. Hey there, partner. Go away.
Hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but uh, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Need to breathe out, need to breathe out. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. <laughs> Show off? All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. can I say? Thank you. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Go ahead and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. 
You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Okay there, boy. Yeah, I'll stay there, boy. Yep. 
Easy, easy. Easy. Yep.
Howdy. Morning. Supposedly that hot screw in the saloon bit old Wilbur's nose off. Don't think I've met you before. Sure, let's take a look then. Tell you what, bring me the right items and I can even craft you a wee trinket. On the side, that is. Mm. Mm. Don't need to know where you got this. Very nice, this. I'm sure the previous owners prefer that I look after it now. Been a pleasure doing business with you. Don't go mishandling that now.
Yep. Promise you, not everything on these shelves found its way there dubiously, eh? Worth its cost, I can tell you. Now, that's a fine choice there. Worth its cost, I can tell you. Now, that's a fine choice there. I trust nobody's missing this. Always hey, uh, something going on. What right is here. wrong with this place? Unbelievable. Hello, know. mister. Hello. Stay All here. Right. to it then. Way. Which way is north? Saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back, 
Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people. And I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers. And they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof! Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something, you will eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh. <laughs> no! Fair. Cut that out! <laughs> <laughs> Martin got a whoopsie. You gonna behave? No? You are in a lot of trouble, young man. Uh, not nice. Back out. Well, uh, let's be friends, okay? Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Hey, folks. A 70. I'm all right. Hello, sir. Hey, partner. Just wish today was over already. Oh, you'll get through it. You know nah, it's all right. It's hard and true. All right, so long. Minutes. We're about to start. Good luck. Place your beds. Okay, no more bets. Let's get started. Twelve. I'll double. There's okay. a seventeen. Twenty! Got a twelve. Fifteen. A oh, twenty! Crap. Got a bad break.
Put your beds down. Sure. All right, let's start. Beds are closed. What? Ten. I will double. Uh, uh, Seventy. Okay. okay. Fourteen. Hit me. Eighteen. Twenty. <laughs> Luck turns, and mine's about to. Yeah, I saw it. Place your beds. Yeah, sure. I'm done taking bets. Let's start the round. That's a 13. Double down. A 14. There's an 11. I'll double. 21! <laughs> a 20! Lucky. That's a good one. Give me your beds. Huh. Feeling bold today, huh? All right, no more beds. We're about uh, to start. Six. Card, please. Thirteen. Again. Sixteen. Yep, card. Got too many. What? Damn you! An eleven. Double it. <sighs> I hardly got to play. Well, maybe next time. Hey, y'all. Well, now, I could listen to that kind of thing all day. Okay, there? Mister? Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. Hey, mister. You will not believe... Thank you for your help. Gracious. What'll it be? This life. Hell, mister, you look like I feel. You all right? Oh, hanging in there. Hello there, sweetheart. Oh, belly now. Hi. Ain't even worth it. What in the hell? Yeah. I didn't do anything. I swear I didn't. I don't care what the story is, lady. You're going in. Prisoner in hand. Get back from the wagon. Please! Get me out of this damn He's a bad man, but I was no part of it. Clear the way. I won't ask again. 
think you're the first woman to use that line? Please, just don't take me in! Dumb bastard! Shoot him! Oh. Easy, whoa. Devil take you! I can't believe it. Ah! Let's go, boy. Easy now. 